Hi friends, I am Rajesh. Welcome to my channel, Rajesh's Max Class. Today, I am going to take a theorem, Archimedean property. Archimedean property. Archimedean property. Archimedean property. The statement is if x belongs to R, then there exists, then there exists nx belongs to capital N nx belongs to capital N such that x less than nx x less than nx if x belongs to R then there exists nx belongs to N such that x less than nx that means if x is any real number then there exists a natural number nx corresponding to this real number such that x less than nx or nx greater than x clear that means the set of natural numbers is not bounded above the set of natural numbers is not bounded above because if we take any real number any real number x corresponding to this real number there exists a natural number nx there exists a natural number nx corresponding to this real number such that nx greater than x nx greater than x clear nx greater than x that means the set of natural numbers is not bounded above set of natural numbers is not bounded above that means set of natural numbers has no upper bound has no upper bound this means that the set of natural numbers is unbounded the set of natural numbers is unbounded clear In this proof, we will use supremum property. We will use the supremum property of R. Supremum property of R proof. Supremum property. Supremum property of R. Supremum property of R. Every Every non empty, every non empty set of every non empty set of real numbers, every non empty set of real numbers, every non empty set of real numbers that has that has an upper bound, that has an upper bound, that has an upper bound has has a supremum a supremum a supremum in R supremum in R this is the supremum property of R clear supremum property of R supremum property of R clear okay here we will prove this theorem by using uh, contradiction method contradiction method actually we want to prove if x is any real number then there exists a natural number nx such that x less than nx x less than nx if possible let there exists let there exists there exists let there exists a real number real number there exists a real number x such that x such that n less than or equals x for all n for all n belongs to capital N for all n belongs to capital N here small n means natural number capital N is the set of all natural numbers so we assume there exists a real number small x such that 
every natural number is less than or is equal to small x. Every natural number is less than or is equal to small x. This is our assumption. Clear? The x is a real number x. The x is a real number x such that small n, that means natural number, is less than or equals x for all n belongs to capital. That means for every element in capital n. Capital n means the set of all natural numbers. Every element in every element in capital N is less than or is equal to small x. That is our assumption. Clear. In this case, we can say that x is an upper bound of capital N. Small x is an upper bound of capital N because every element in capital N is less than or is equal to small x. So we can write x is x is an upper bound upper bound of the set upper bound of the set capital clear upper bound of the set capital clear so here we use the supremum property of r that means every non empty set of real numbers that has an upper bound has a supremum in capital r here our capital n is a non empty subset of r non empty subset of r and n has an upper bound capital n has an upper bound clear here small x is an upper bound of capital n small x is an upper bound of capital n so by the supremum property of r we have capital n has a supremum in r capital n has a supremum in r capital n has a supremum in r this supremum is denoted by small u Supremum is denoted by small u. That means small u is the supremum of capital N. Supremum capital N equals small u. Small u is a supremum of the set capital N. Okay. Small u is a supremum of the set capital N means small u is the least upper bound of the set capital N. Small u is the least upper bound of the set capital N. So we can write small u is a least least upper bound least upper bound of the set of the set capital N. That means small u is an upper bound. Small u is an upper bound. Small u is an upper bound of the set of the set capital. Clear. Small u is an upper bound of the set capital. By the definition of an upper bound, we can write we can write small n less than or equals u for all small n belongs to capital. That means if every element in capital n is denoted by small n, then we can write small n less than or equals small u for all small n belongs to capital. Because U is an upper bound of the city capital. Clear? Okay. Here, U is a real number. U is a real number. U is a real number. Clear? Also, we have U minus 1, U minus 1, strictly less than U. U minus 1, strictly less than U. Clear? We know that U minus 1, strictly less than U. Then we can say that U minus 1 u minus 1 is not an upper bound not an upper bound not an upper bound of the set capital N clear? u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the set capital N what is the reason? here we have u is the least upper bound of the set capital N clear? U is the least upper bound of the set capital N. Clear. So any number less than U, any real number less than U is not an upper bound of the set capital N. Because U is the least upper bound. Clear. Here U is the least upper bound of the set capital N. Then any number less than U is not an upper bound of the set capital N. Here U minus 1 is strictly less than U. Therefore U minus 1 is not an upper bound of the set N. 
because u is the least upper bound of the city capital clear okay so we write u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the city capital clear okay u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the city capital then we cannot say that every element in capital N is less than or is equal to u minus 1 clear u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the city capital N then we can't say that we can't say that every element in capital N is less than or is equal to u minus 1 that means the Rx is a natural number the Rx is a natural number greater than u minus 1 the Rx is a natural number greater than u minus 1 clear this number is denoted by small m, small m. Okay. The Rx is a natural number, natural number. The Rx is a natural number. It is denoted by small m. The Rx is a natural number, small m, small m. The Rx is a natural number, small m, such that, small m, such that, u minus one less than small m. Clear? u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the set capital N then by the definition of an upper bound the Rx is, the Rx is a natural number M such that u minus 1 less than M or small m greater than u minus 1 is it clear? ok the Rx is a natural number M such that u minus 1 less than small m ok adding 1 on both sides of this inequality we have u less than u less than M plus 1 u less than m plus 1 clear adding 1 on both sides of this inequality we have u less than m plus 1 clear ok this leads a contradiction this leads a contradiction because here m is a natural number m is a natural number then m plus 1 is also a natural number m plus 1 is also a natural number that means we find a natural number m plus 1 greater than u greater than u clear here we find a natural number m plus 1 greater than u greater than u but we have but we have every natural number is less than or is equal to u clear already we have n less than or equal to u for all n belongs to capital n that means every natural number is less than or is equal to small u. But here we get the Rx is a natural number m plus 1 greater than u. This leads a contradiction. Clear? Okay. Then we can say that if x belongs to R, then the Rx is a natural number nx belongs to, belongs to capital N such that x less than nx. Clear? Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed my class. Thank you.